Hey guys, Matt Philly here for Swashin' TV. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about this pop filter from Ophonics for the Blue Yeti. And it also works with other microphones, which I'll talk about later. I'm usually not the biggest fan of the Yeti. The price has been dropping, which does make it a little more appealing. And it is pretty simple for a lot of people. For someone like me, I wouldn't use this microphone, but if you're looking to just do some streaming, if you're talking on Skype, doing things like that, this is great because it has the stand built in. It is USB. It is a very nice design. I've always really like the design especially the blackout one and I, I think for you know simple people that just want to have a good microphone this is gonna work it is condenser though so keep that in mind but the problem with it is blue the company that makes the Yeti sells the pop filter for 55 bucks which is absolutely insane and you should not pay that much for a pop filter, that's just crazy. This right here is a $20 pop filter from Ophonics and they also make a, uh, a bigger version. This is four inches, they make a six inch version. So I wanna quickly do some tests, see if it really works and kind of talk about the pros and cons of getting this and, uh, and I'll let you know if it's worth it. So here we go. Now we're gonna switch on over to the Yeti. Bam, all right, we're here on the Yeti. You can kind of tell that it is a bit echoey in here since the studio is still being finished. But let's put the echo aside and put this to the test. So I'm going to say some sentences right off the top of my head to give this a test. So pippity pop pop poop pop peep pop pip 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 pop. Pippity pop pop poopity poop poop pop pip pop pippity poop. So I just played back the audio and I was very happy to see that I was peeking like crazy when I was doing the test without the pop filter. But when I had the pop filter in front, I was not popping all over the place. So this definitely does work. I didn't touch anything. Everything was the same. All I did was drag this to the front. So uh, for the price of 20 bucks, it works great. So let's talk about pros. The actual setup is super easy, especially if you're attaching it to the Yeti base. It's just clamping onto the side. It's not gonna actually leave any marks or anything like that. It has the gooseneck. You pull it to the side when you don't wanna use it. You pull it back up when you do. It's very easy and straightforward. Now another benefit is that it is a clamp. And the reason why I say that's a benefit is because one, you could use it with other microphones. So you could clamp it onto your desk and just pull the gooseneck over, or you could clamp it onto a mic arm. And that's the same for the Yeti. If you put the Yeti onto a mic arm, you could still clamp this somewhere and utilize this pop filter. Another pro is that Ophonics is gonna hook you guys up with a $5 off coupon. So if you want to get this for $5 cheaper, go to the link down below, ophonics.com slash swashin and redeem your $5 off coupon. Now I can only think about one con for this because it's awesome. It has the gooseneck, the mesh works really well. We tested it, it actually helps. Uh, the clamp is great because you could use it for other microphones, so on and so forth. I could go on about why it's great, but I just don't like that it's all black. Because honestly, if you have the silver one, which most people do, it's it just doesn't look awesome. And it's not mainly because of this part. This part looks epic. It makes it look like you know what you're doing. It's like a legit setup. But right here, the actual clamp is a little bit clunky. And uh, especially on the silver edition, it's kind of an eyesore. But if you're not worried about the look, then you have no worries with this. It works perfectly. Uh, if you have the blackout Yeti, it probably looks even better with the black one. Uh, but then again, this is only 20 bucks. So if you want to get it $5 off, use the link down below, click it, because it's going to help you. And that's it. That's a quick look at this pop filter for the Blue Yeti. Overall, for me, two thumbs up. Really like it for the price, and uh, it definitely makes a difference. So if you guys have any other ideas for videos you want to see in the future, let me know by leaving a comment down below. And if you got this far into the video, go ahead and write Yeti Flamingo. Do it right now. Don't judge. Just do it. Uh, and don't forget, guys, I'm Matt Philly. You're not. Get out of my face. Have a great day, and I'll catch you on the flippity flop.